All right, so I'm logged in here into Teams. Um, you can see across the left, there are many different teams that I am a part of. Uh, right now, I'm in the VoIP phones team, and that particular team is focused around a particular uh, project um, that we're working on, this VoIP phones project. Uh, the first thing that you'll see here is uh, the conversation stream that's been going on around this particular project. You'll notice um, I've praised someone here and said, hey, good job, thanks for being a leader and helping out on this project. Um, and to do that, um, there's many different capabilities here within Teams and within the conversations uh, stream itself. You can come in and you can add a variety of different apps. There's a ton to choose from here that all can tie into Teams and you know, really add on to those capabilities like this particular one here um, where you could praise people. There are also bots that you can come and utilize. And so if I come in here and I go at and say get bots, there are many different bots to many different tools that you may already be using uh, that can really help make your life easier to allow you to do things right from here without having to go somewhere else. Uh, as an example, um, there's an Azure DevOps bot, and right from the conversation stream here, you can create user stories, task bugs, et cetera, right into Azure DevOps right from here without having to leave and kind of come back you know, on the fly as you're communicating with people and such, and or link to things and so on and so forth. <clears throat> um, on top of the communication capabilities that are here, you can also store files. Uh, so every team comes with a file store where we can create different folders, upload our different files related to this particular project in this case, um, and you know, manage and track those, share those with other people, so on and so forth. <clears throat> There's wiki pages that you can build into this. So uh, in this case, I have a lessons learned page. So at the end of this particular project, I could come in and build out my wiki page here with all my lessons learned and build a rich you know, web page that we can then share and post for other people um, you know, to get this information. Uh, there's a OneNote notebook, so if I wanted to pop into OneNote and you know keep all the notes as we're having status meetings, so on and so forth, put in my meeting minutes and things like that, um, all here, you know, right from within Teams, within one experience as we're having our meeting, even. Um, if you've ever used the Office 365 Planner, that's a great capability that you can utilize for very lightweight tasks, action items, so on and so forth, and drag and drop to update status on those. Um, and, you know, again, all right from one experience. On top of that, um, we've embedded one plan into Teams. Uh, it is an app for Teams that allows you to then come in and, um, you know, kind of take this to the next level, especially if you're using Project Desktop and or wanting to do more of a waterfall project schedule. Um, and so what you can see here uh, is a, a view of my schedule, um, and that actually came out of Project Desktop. So I can start in Project Desktop, build out my schedule here, either from a template or from scratch, um, depending on you know, what's needed for this particular project. There's an add-on here for Project uh, Professional Desktop that allows me to then come in and hit Publish. And when I do that, it's actually gonna publish this into uh, Teams, <coughs> into one plan in Teams, so that then we can start to work on that, collaborate on that, and continue through the whole process that I'll you know, continue to show you here today. As people make status updates to uh, those tasks and say, yep, I finished this and or track time on it, which I'll show you how that works here in just a second, you can then hit update and it'll come and it'll pull back any updates if there are any there waiting for you. Um, you know, pull those back into your project schedule uh, so you can get any status updates and time in the actual hours that people have been tracking onto this particular project. So once that's published into the web, then you get a web uh, view of it here right through Teams. And so um, you can see I have my full project schedule here, and this is all, you know, um, usable. Right on top of that, I could also overlay a quick Gantt view if I wanted to look at more of a timeline Gantt type of view across this particular project. And there's even added capabilities on top of it now that I've published this here into One Plan in Teams. Uh, for example, there's a feature in here called Activities. And so what I can do is I can say Show Activities, and I'm doing it for this particular task. So I have this Define Preliminary Resources task here. And what I want to do is, I don't want to necessarily build subtasks under this, I want to kind of keep my schedule higher level clean, but there's some action items, some to-dos, some things that need to happen to get this defined preliminary resources task completed. 
And so what I can do is I can break out some activities down here below it, and you'll see these activities are in various states. Some are not started, some are in progress, some are completed. As I'm working on these, I can drag and drop these to update status. Um, and once all of these activities are done, then I could come back up here in status and or close out that particular task. On top of that, um, maybe you want some communication to happen around this task. So by publishing it here into one plan and into Teams, I can then come and hit comments and I can start to comment on this particular task and ask about, you know, hey, I, I don't quite know what I need to do here. I have a question or where can I get this information from, you know, so on and so forth. And the project manager and the team members who are working on this can then communicate right within Teams on particular tasks as those are actually being worked on. Um, um, there's other views then we can look at of this project schedule. Maybe I'm more interested in looking at a Kanban board of this particular schedule. I can come in and see all of those same tasks that are in my schedule, but broken down into a Kanban board view here right within Teams. To update status then when we're having our status calls and such, I can drag and drop these items from one status to the next and make it super simple and easy. Those same comments that we saw are available right from here as well. And so it's just a, a different view. Even if you're not using Agile, this can be a very um, useful view for tracking visually the status of all the different work that's going on around a particular project. <clears throat> I can also flip this and look at it more from a resource management perspective. You know, which resources are working on which tasks and which periods of time here. And I can come in and I can look across all of that and see who's overloaded, who's not. Right now, I'm just looking at this particular project, um, you know, and who's working on what in this project. But if I hit the show all work button here, what it's actually going to do is it's going to go across all of the different projects that have been published into one plan and teams here. And now you'll see a full view of not just the work for this particular project, but the work for everyone who's working on this project across all of their projects. The other tasks show up kind of grayed out here, meaning I can't change them, I can't move them around. Um, but they show up for visibility and you can see that certain people are very over allocated, highlights them in red. Right now I'm looking at that in hours, but I could flip that to percents if I wanted to do so. Um, and then I can actually start to make adjustments here to try to make sure that I'm not going to over allocate anyone too much with any period of time. So everything in here uh, within this project anyway is actually editable. So meaning I can drag and drop and move these things around and or I could go, well, um, you know, Grace Williams has availability to help out with this. I can drag and drop this actually down to Grace um, and let, you know, Grace take on that particular piece of work so that we can avoid some of those resource issues that may happen otherwise. Um, so you really get that full view across all projects, not just within this particular project um, as well. On top of that, right here from within Teams, you know, as we're working on, um, you know, everything and updating our task status and uploading files and all the things I've showed already, uh, we can also generate reports right here within Teams via Power BI. So there's a, an add-in for Power BI here. And there are lots of different applications that you can, um, you know, add into the mix. If I hit the Add button here, I want to add a tab. For each particular project, depending on the tools that you're using to go and manage and execute on that particular project, there's a lot of different connectors in here that you can connect in to add in other things that may be useful for getting this particular project done. Um, in this case, we've added in our Power BI status report. And so right from here, I can see how's this project doing. And this status report will also be shared with stakeholders, with you know management, executives. Um, and you can see here, here's the overall status, the financial status, the schedule status, uh, and some other details around that particular project and, and what's going on. So, so far, everything I've shown is really from a single project view. It's a project manager working with the different resources on that project to, to get things done. And one of the cool things is we can also set up another team. Um, in this case, we called it our EPMO group, or our Enterprise Project Management Organization group. Um, and within here, we can, you know, kind of look at things at a little higher level. So my communication stream here has all the same capabilities, but this is a higher level communication stream not focused on any particular project. It's focused on our PMO as a whole. So, you know, hey, there's this new document. I could come post that in here, um, you know, new template, new process, whatever it might be, and or any other communications of events that are going on, things that are happening and really keep a higher level stream here that people can get information from. 
There's also a file share in here again, but this file share might be a little higher level, meaning here's some presentation templates that you may need and want um, you know, as you're going and managing your projects. Uh, some policies and procedures, there may be training materials in here, templates that you might wanna use. Um, so we can post things here so people have a quick, easy way to, to get the different documents and or templates uh, that they might need to go and execute on their projects and programs, et cetera. We can also put an idea portal in here. And so within my idea portal, we can allow people to come in um, and submit ideas and or requests for new projects. So I could simply come in, hit the new button, fill out a little form, and then that'll go into the list of ideas here with some basic information uh, that we can utilize um, to start <clears throat> you know, tracking ideas in one place. And then when we're ready, we can then promote those into projects and then go start doing some more detailed planning and eventually actually executing on them. Instead of people sending emails and having Excel spreadsheets separately um, to try to keep a, you know, a list of all of these different ideas and requests that are, that are you know, um, being brought up within the organization. From more of a team member's perspective, if I'm being assigned work, then I can come into the My Work view here um, and you know, see all of the different work that's been assigned to me, those different activities as well as tasks and such. I can see all of those things that are assigned to me here, when I'm expected to be working on those. Um, and as I complete things, I can come in and I can just check those off and complete those as well as utilize the comment stream right from here as well um, that we saw earlier to really get that communication going back and forth. Um, so that makes it kind of quick and easy um, to see everything I'm working on and update my status on that uh, right from one place, right within Teams. If I need to fill out a timesheet, um, you know, every week I have to say, what did I work on? How much time did I spend on these different projects that I'm working on and tasks and such? Um, then I can come right into my timesheet tab here in this particular team, put in all of the different time that I've been working on these different items. And then at the end of the week, I can come and hit submit and route this through an approval process so that I can get all my time filled out. And with that all tracks and flows all the way back into those project schedules that we showed earlier and up to those projects. Um, so we can see how much time is being spent and translate that into cost if needed as well. <clears throat> Um, going down the line here, um, I can also come into more of a portfolio view where I'm now not looking at just one particular project. I'm actually looking across all of my different projects. Um, in this case, I have it grouped up by portfolio. So you can see, okay, here's a particular portfolio um, and here are the different projects that are going on below those. And you can see some status on these overall health, schedule health, financial health. So I'm looking at a portfolio view of all the different projects that are going on, you know, and based on permissions, I would only see the ones that I had access to. If I was someone that had access to all of them, then I'd see all of them. And you can see that some of these projects are being managed with many different tools. Some are being managed with Project Desktop. We have a connector as well to Azure DevOps. So if it's more of an Azure, I'm sorry, an agile type of project that you're managing and you're managing it over in Azure DevOps, we can connect that in and let that flow up into this portfolio and the resource views and reports and such as well. Um, and many other connectors that are available even to other third party applications like say Jira, um, Office 365 Planner, et cetera, uh, multiple different applications. So people can use the tools they want and the things that make most sense for those particular projects to execute on but then let that all roll up into you know, one place, one source of truth, one pane of glass, if you wanna call it that. From within here, I can also pop open my Gantt and or timeline view, so I can see when these projects are all happening, um, and you can create dependencies between them as well. So you'll see these lines here show dependencies where, you know, hey, as this project slips, that's also gonna make this other project slip and or this project can't start until this one starts, so you can keep track of your different dependencies whether those projects are being managed in a waterfall agile or other way, um, you know, put relationships between them as needed. <clears throat> if I want to, I can flip into my portfolio level Kanban board. And so this is not showing tasks and, and such. This is showing um, the actual projects themselves and how they're laid out in a visual way in their different stages. So some of them are in the create stage, some are in the select, plan, manage, et cetera, et cetera there. If I want or need to present more of a roadmap view to stakeholders, to the business, to executives, to customers, whoever it might be of 
when these projects are going to happen, there's also a roadmap view in here, and I can come and show this in many different ways and see where these projects are laid out, how much progress has been made on these, as well as it shows those dependencies that I made, you know, um, pointed out earlier. Right from here, if I want to, I can print this, and or there are Power BI reports to show all of this information in many different ways, again, which can be accessed right here through Teams. No need to go separately out to Power BI. Um, I can come in and I can look at my portfolio level reports right here from within this EPMO group, assuming I have access to do so. So high level dashboards that show a variety of information as well as more like health summary reports showing my different projects, um, the KPIs that we're tracking around those projects and such um, that I can then share out with, you know, whoever necessary to get these particular pieces of information, as well as more resource management focused, um, you know, from a resource side, seeing who's working on what, who's available or not, right? All of this information that's in here that we're tracking can all then roll up into these reports and be available for visibility to make decisions and such across all. <clears throat> So with that, you can see how all right from Teams, I can do everything that I need to do to manage a project, to work on a project, to report on my projects, to see portfolio views across resources, fill in timesheets, you know, all of the different aspects that may go around these different projects can all be done right here within Teams. And it really makes one unified experience, so I don't have to keep bouncing between different tools. They can all be kind of pulled together in one place and make it really easy for everyone to get to what they need. 